Back in the 1990s, Lemmings was a smash hit. It was available on 26 different architectures, including the Commodore Amiga, the IBM PC, the Nintendo, Macintosh, and many others. The original game had 22 different songs. Some were original compositions, while others were remakes of famous songs from Mozart, Tchaikovsky, and other famous composers. The music sounded very different depending on which machine you were playing the game on. In fact, the music doesn't even match the same levels when you move from one machine to another. Now in this episode, I'm going to be focusing on a single song. In the DOS version of the game, it's actually called uh, Packle Bell's Cannon, which I don't know why because it really has no resemblance to the uh, classical song by Packle Bell. Okay, and for this challenge, I'm going to be using the Casio SA76. I saw this keyboard recently when walking through Fry's Electronics. I saw it on the shelf for $49. Okay, so this is a modern kids toy keyboard. And for $49, I have to admit, I was very impressed. In fact, I, I felt kind of like I was cheating using this in my show because it sounds so much better than the obsolete toy keyboards that I'm typically focused on. But make no mistake, it was still challenging uh, to use this keyboard. Uh, for one thing, I had to transpose the entire song up two half steps because I couldn't get uh, the bass notes I needed. It was off the scale of the keyboard. I also had to transpose some parts of the music down an entire octave uh, because they were too high pitched and, and there was no keys to play it with. So let me briefly walk you through which instruments I'm going to be using. For the bass, I'm using a synthetic bass. I'm using the vibraphone for this part. I'm using some voice ahs for a sort of ambient sound that follows the bass line. For the drums, I'm not using the dedicated drums up here. Instead, I'm using one of the percussion instruments with a synthetic drum sound like this. And then I'm using strings for this part. Okay, so let's talk about the melody. Originally, the song was supposed to use um, a trumpet or some other brass instrument as the melody. And I did, I mean, there is a, a decently sounding trumpet on here, but for some reason, it just didn't sound right when I, I made the song. So I changed it to piano. And I also used part of it, uh, a flute for part of it too. And the reason is because the way this keyboard, um, you can't actually manually transpose the keyboard up and down. But depending upon what instrument you pick, it automatically transposes it. So if you pick a bass instrument, um, for example, it will transpose the keyboard low so that you can get some good bass notes in there. And if you pick certain instruments like a flute, it will transpo uh, transpose the keyboard up so that you can get some, some higher notes. And so in order to take advantage of that, um, I ended up using those instruments um, in, in order to get the frequency that I was looking for, even though it doesn't exactly match the original song. And without further delay, here's the actual song. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And by the way, if you want to be able to listen to the music without listening to me blab on about how I created it and everything, uh, you can actually go to SoundCloud. There's a link down in the description and uh, you can play all the different music that uh, I'll be featuring on this channel. And of course, um, I'm going to do a full review on this keyboard eventually, and I'm sure you're going to see me using it again in future videos. Um, also, I'm actually going to perform the Lemming song one more time in the next video, and I'm going to be using this Casio SK-1. I also want to give a shout out to some anonymous person who recreated my intro song on an old MSX computer. Here's a, just a quick clip of it. And if you want to hear the full thing, there's a link to his YouTube video down in the description field. And I also want to give a shout out to Brian Johnston and Tony Williams for creating the original song that I've just covered. And I also wanted to mention one more thing. I'm, I have been reading all of your comments and uh, a lot of people have been requesting stuff, stuff I've already thought about doing. So we're definitely on the same uh, wavelength there. In fact, 
This just came in the mail today. It's a Casio VL1, and I'm definitely going to be doing uh, some episodes with this, which many of you have requested this keyboard. So uh, I'll see you next time.